Okay, we got the shovel, we got bombs, let's move on eastward. This is part three of Link's Awakening on the Switch. East leads to Yuku Prairie. Let's move. And let's see what's in this cave first. Ah, another one of these puzzles again? Yeah, gotta be serious. Nice, I messed it up. Messed it up within the first few seconds. Yeah, I figured out how this whole thing works. Because not only you gotta go through the puzzle, you gotta get the heart piece. Heart piece there. No! Wait a minute. Well, what do you know? This can actually be used for advantage. Oh, nice. We get 50 rupees. Very, very nice. Okay, so how am I supposed to get this? Nuts, let's try it again, because I did get the first one. Now I gotta get the second, which is the heart piece. That the heart piece is the more complicated mess. Ow. No, because there's no way. You gotta, you gotta find a way to push it back. Unless you can find a way to remove them via platforms. I'm already spending like three minutes just trying to figure this game out. Okay, then. Let's see how this will work. No, it won't. Oh, wait. Who am I kidding? Of course it'll work. There. Got it. It didn't take us that long, right? God, I got a brain fart trying to figure these out. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough so far. Because, yes, I decided to make all of them be premiere. And, yes, you all will get to see the... What the? Flying Octorox? You have got to be Joshy. Alright, this unlocks the UQ Prairie. And this is the location of the third dungeon. There's also Pothole Field. Yeah, the more we fill out the map, the better. Yeah, now I can keep up with you in the air, like this. Let's just keep going for now. What the? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to get me, man. Good, this lets us pass.
flying mushroom? Oh, you lot bombs at me. How dare you? This one leads to the Candlelight Castle in five minutes. Okay, so what's this? Warning them's the bigger problem. We already blew up the rock formation. Oh wait, I'm actually am going in the right direction. That's where I need to go. All right, let's head here. Yo, salutations. You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk and I was forced to flee to my villa. So you're looking for something, are you? I may have just what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind the castle when I fled. Sure. Smashing! To tell you the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. Okay, you'll need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck. I already got a shovel. Yo. I'm not afraid. I just decided to wait at home. You're not afraid, yet you decide to hide. Alright, at least now we are. So what's the next step? Oh yeah, we have to head east. We'll have to head to the entrance of the castle. We bought the shovel, we got bombs, we're pretty much set for this journey. This must be kind of like castle. Never thought I'd there be a castle. Kiki the monkey, hungry, hungry. Kiki the monkey. That's gonna lead to the trade sequence. Moblins are about. <coughs> This is the seashell mansion. Ow! Not fair! We will have to return back here much later, for good reason. Oh wait, Link can't swim! I forgot, Link can't swim. I forgot, Link can't swim. Oh yeah, we gotta find the secret entrance. Oh, wait. Now we're gonna have some real fun. Oh, so there's some strange energy coming from here. You should take a closer look. Alright, so where does this leak? It's a warp. Yeah, we need to find another way inside. That's 50 paces. All right, we did find the find the entrance. Yep, we have to complete the trading sequence. 
That means we gotta now get the bananas. So you know what that means, right? Backtracking. And backtracking really does suck. But this is a necessity. Wait, why am I having this? <laughs> Gotta backtrack so we can get the bananas. Much better! Oh, yeah, there's also this place. The Dream Shrine. All right, so what is this all about? What is this? I'd rather not want to find out later. <sighs> but this trait, but this trait sequence is something else. Now I gotta save 980 just to get bow and arrow? You have got to be Joshua. Yeah, because now we got to get bananas. I know just the place that would happen. That ain't the way. How do you get them down? Oh, wait, this guy. Welcome to Sales House of Bananas. I'm Sale, and this is my house. Actually, my hobbies collect the rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I get strange hobbies running the family. Wait, you mean to tell me that there's a trading sequence at this point? Go figure. Then we'll just have to get started. We have the Yoshi doll. Yeah, I forgot. I should have actually started this from the get-go. Fine, let's do it. This just makes my journey a whole lot more unbearable. But that's fine, because it makes my work easier. Yeah, because I can't believe I forgot about the trade sequence. Ow! We already got the Yoshi doll, remember? And all we needed was 10 rupees just to get that. Now the next... Now... When we got our hands on the Yoshi doll... Hey, how are you doing, buddy? Yeah, with the Yoshi doll, we have to head up here. Uh? Oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my baby? Sure! Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, uh, I will give you this in return. This gives us the ribbon. Maybe we can trade the ribbon for something else. We gave the rib. We gave the ribbon. Now this next trade piece is near inside the doghouse. Right here. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. Oh, that ribbon, I need it. Will you trade for my dog food? Lucky, thanks. Well, here's your dog food. This exchanged the ribbon full of dog food. It's full of juicy beef. Now, with the beef in hand, we gotta go all the way south. 
We gotta go southward so that way we can trade the dog food to the crocodile so we can get the bananas. I cannot believe I forgot about the trade sequence, which is actually necessary. Completing it will net you a bonus item once it all sees through to the end. Ow! Now we meet here. What's that you have? It's canned food! For heaven's sake, man, give that to me, please! I'm gonna lose it if I can't get the can! <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll take that. Wait, he ingests the whole thing? Are you serious? Mm. Mm -hmm. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. We gave him dog food for bananas in return. A good deal. Now with the bananas, we can return all the way back there and continue. Yeah, the first few legs of the trade quest, actually, it's one of the... Uh, this is a bit difficult for me to say this, but yeah, the trading sequence was something new that they added in this game. And it would also reappear in later entries, like the Oracle games. The Oracle games have a trading sequence where it would eventually lead you to where you can get the Noble Sword, a level 2 blade. All right, now with this, we can now head eastward. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep saving up till I have enough to get that bow and arrow set. Once I do, I'm good to go. Now with these bananas, let us head for the castle. You gotta head all the way eastward to where that monkey was at. And then you gotta trade the banana so that way he'll give you a stick. Bananas, bananas, oh, oh, give the Kiki. Bananas, bananas, oh, oh Kiki. Monkeys, come, repay him, Kiki. Yeah, bananas are essential. Thanks, guys. Monkey business. Done. Bye-bye. Oh, Kiki. You left a stick behind. Thanks. We take it. And we're gonna need it. But before we do, there's... Oh, wait. I thought I would freak out. Wish the video could at least catch up. Ow! What the heck's he doing? I do not want to lose my helmet. What are you doing here? No. Oh, Wink, I see you have a nice stick. Can I borrow it for a second? That was not the best strategy. This net says the honeycomb. The stick became the honeycomb. You're not sure what happened, but we take it anyway. At least that's better than nothing, right? What the? Ow, what is wrong with you? Absolutely stink. Uh, these guys are the worst. Anyway, let us continue on our journey because we need to find a way to get to the third dungeon. And uh, that part of that trade sequence, that was necessary. 
Okay, so our next stop, we arrive at Kenilet Castle. Well, the front entrance was blocked, so it wasn't like we were gonna do much. And here I thought this can't get better. Let's head underground. All right, our next stop has us upwards. Dark nuts! Yeah, because you need the shield to repel their attacks. But the dark nut iron knights are not that hard to deal with. All right. We had her inside. This is gonna be quite dicey. Dude, I block whatever you throw at me. So, doesn't work. Okay, with this, we now gain the first gold leaf. One of five. We need all five to complete this assignment. Yeah, bust off, man. Fine. I'll take a Guardian Acorn instead. This opens the front gate. Now we don't have to worry about all that. Huh? Sounds like the castle gate opened. You can easily leave the castle now. Let's keep moving in the meantime. What the? I'll take that second leaf, thank you. Thank you very much. Who'd have thought there'd be a surprise up my sleeves? Arm Knights. Something just doesn't seem to add up with this situation. At least we're inside, so that's at least a relief. What the? Nice. So how do we solve this? Okay, seriously, how the heck do we solve this situation? Because no way out. And unfortunately, we're not going to get out anywhere unless we figure this out. Hmm. Got to hurry. Already gotten through the bananas, that sort of thing. Oh yeah, we gotta throw a pot in there. Let's try it again. There are two more that we missed. Let me inside. I can take the front of whatever you throw at me. Like that. That makes three gold leaves. Three down, only two remain. Let's go. Now I got power flowing through me. For leaf number four. 
Okay, I got the fourth leaf, but... Oh, yeah. See, it's somewhere around here. Go fig. I already got four out of the five leaves. Oh yeah, the second one's not far from here. I see. You gotta throw a rock at it? Darn it, I messed it up. Bring it, bird brain! Yeah! Got the last one. We got the final gold leaf. Now go and see a richer about that reward. Which is what we'll do. What the? How do I pay attention? Yeah, because I'm also paying attention to my video. So far, so good. We need to head back into the plot hole field. That means we gotta avoid the interference. Yep, zoom in. Yep, I was heading in the wrong direction. No, wait, who am I kidding? I'm actually heading in the right direction. Whoa. Ah, très bien! I see you have recovered all the leaves. Now move this statue, and you will find your reward. A stairs? Okay. Another secret seashell. What the hell? Sorry. Leads me above? Yeah, that's our fault. Black hole field. I also like it like a facade of sorts. I like how the game actually just tells you to avoid plot holes.
Oh, yeah, I need the Pegasus boots for this. Fine, I will be back here. I'm supposed to dig. This must be it. We got the slime key. Now we can open the gate in Yukuku Prairie. I will be back here. That's a promise. Wait a minute, what am I doing? This is why this is... Not again! Yeah, you fall down, you lose half a heart. I need the rock's feather. Now anytime I need to go back, I can just do that. to get through is to reach the other side. Douche move, guys. Douche move. Right here. Link, you're gonna have to get something so you can swim. All right, this is level three, the key cavern. I know this trick already. Let me inside. Like a pinball machine. This nest has a small key which let us open the door. Very good. This has to be a joke. A fake trap? Wow, well played. Yeah, well, now we have booby trap chests. Let's just keep on heading north. That it? Yep, looks like we gotta work it out for us, huh? Fine by me. Okay, four different passages, and I really don't know. Fine, let's have the door unlocking north. I made the right choice in it! Nice, we got a guardian acorn. Now we gotta hit the crystal with the sword. And get the chest. 
Nice, we got the stone beak. That's going to be helpful for us. Not ahead right this time. And this... Oh, nice. We get from defense to offense. Go up, around... Get this chest. All right, we got the map. Let's look around. And sweet mother of mercy, this thing's got two floors. All right. Move around. I send you flying for your troubles. I should do it. Let's just hope I don't make the wrong choice. More south, east, west, head to the right. Take the first key. Defensive time. Alright, that's a relief. Head northward. One. Ah, what the? Burst like a balloon. And yeah, those the dongo snakes were just annoying. Not ahead eastward. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is cute. Alright. Now we get the Pegasus boots. If you hold L, you can dash. Try going for a long jump. Nice, at least with this, we can now keep going. Oh yeah, since we now... Oh yeah, we gotta use the bomb right here. Let's also use it up here. At 
Is that to manage? Okay. That was a bit off. Now that's a spot up. Yeah, that's how you emphasize the dash jump. Now with the nightmare key, we can open the door to the nightmare's lair. Which means we gotta go up and around. More piece of power? You don't say. Disappointing. Nice. We get the compass. Don't you think it's a bit late for that? Nice. It'll also tell me where a key's need. And it seems to me that we're not even close to being done yet. Yeah, the boss is on the is on the is on the second is on the basement, which means we need to find another way around. Defensive down. Okay. So that's how you do it. So that's how you beat them. Just with a simple dash attack. Alright, with that, we unlock the other key. Nice, we also unlock the chest along with it. you. That made my work easier. Alright, let's see what this one gives us. 50 rupees. Very nice. We still gotta grind so that we can have like 980 so we can get the bow and arrow. Ah. I see. Okay. Now I get it. I like how Link actually gets a running start before that. This is a real kicker. I got no time for you guys. He was just standing there. May I please get my key now? Right, we got the third small key. We got all three. Now we gotta head back to that snake boss. I am happy. I am in no mood to fight with you clowns. Get 
get off! Time to head back. All right, we use the teleporter to return the dungeon entrance. Oh, I see. Okay. That wasn't gonna work, right? Nice, we got the fourth and last small key. That should be all the keys. I see. Oh yeah, you have to head west? Oh yeah! I forgot about that. A chest that would give you 200 rupees. Sheesh, I can't believe I forgot about it. Take care of these guys first. Come on. There. Ow. Not again. And that nets the chest. I'm down to three hearts left. This one gets us 300! Very nice. Now let's head back to the teleporter. Ugh. I don't want bombs, I prefer ladder. Alright, head back to the teleporter and back down. The first of four locked blocks. Second, second block. Third block. And finally, the fourth. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Oh, wait. Am I supposed to, like, do this? Thanks. Thank you. That was a bit simple. That net says yet another key. Now as much as I want to.
Now I got plenty of time to explore the remaining stuff. Let's just first take care of the boss. Never. Nina, Nina, you can't find me. Nah, nah. Wait a minute. If you're giving me a challenge, I'm disappointed. What are you doing? Come on down! Okay. How about I force you down? So this is the slime eye. You gotta use the Pegasus boots to like... No, because if we keep going, we cannot let them separate. Ah, uh, yeah. Come on. I'm on already. Nazi stun. Okay, we did take care of one half and He's gonna come down about now. There, finally! Nice, we get a heart container which refills our hearts now to seven. And with it, we get this. We obtain the Sea Lily's Bell. At least we gotten that done. Ooh, how many instruments have you gotten so far? When you play the instruments in front of the egg, the wind fish will wake and you will leave this island. Now you must hasten to the Yarna Desert. The dark monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Okay, now we can be done here if we wanted to, but nope, we gotta head back. There's still a matter of a loose end that needs to be tied up in the basement. Yeah, because there's actually two that we have to do. Out of my way! Still two more that we have to we have to go through. Now they say we can if we wanted to, so let's check each of them out.
Yes, got it! And I wasn't gonna lose that key either. Why would they even put it in that position? I don't get it. Anyway. Wait, another key? Wait a minute. But... Where else have I explored? I've explored every nook and cranny and they give me a spare key. Then what's the spare key even for? I've explored every bit of the map and there's nothing else left. Yeah, every treasure acquired, every single one. Which means one, which means one simple thing. Hmm. Let me zoom in. Yeah, as you guys know, I've explored every bit of this area. So, which means you have one extra key. But what for? Yeah, this one's this one this one's a bit of a this one's a bit of a brain fart in my opinion. What's the point? They give you a spare key and it's not like it doesn't give you that much. So yeah, we're done here. We're pretty much done with dungeon three, so we're gonna get out of here. And we're done. Yeah. Let me restock my bombs. Okay, that's it. That's going to be it for this part. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. Next stop is the Yarna Desert, so that's going to be fun in part four. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.